Hello everyone and welcome back to Learning with Jelly. So today we're on video 11 of our Git and GitHub series, all about resolving merge conflicts in Git and GitHub. So our agenda for today is we're gonna talk about why merge conflicts arise in the first place and also what we can do to help troubleshoot them. So because Git is very collaborative in nature, you could have multiple people changing the same things at the same time. And this in turn can cause conflict. So say for instance, I'm on branch one and I'm changing the code.ipymb file. My coworker is on branch two and they're changing the same file. And then we get this conflict when we're trying to merge that into the main branch. By default, Git is going to try to do an auto merge, but if it's not, it's gonna raise an error as you see in the screenshot here that says we can't automatically merge. You then have to go in and decide what changes to accept or even if you want to accept the merge. Merge conflicts can be very, very, very complex. So it's best to Google or troubleshoot, or if you have to start a new repo, open up each branch, figure out what's going on inside of each branch, et cetera. So let's look at a merge conflict that I have going on here. So in my repo of GitHub first, and let me just show what that repo kind of looks like on GitHub as well. So within GitHub first, okay, I have a main branch that has a first code.ipy and B file. I also have a test branch that also has a first code.ipy and B file, okay? And so in this case, these are files. If I open up the main file, I see that I have this four and two with X plus Y. And if I open up the test file for the same thing, I see that I have this four and two X plus Y. Awesome. Inside of Visual Studio Code, I'm now trying to make changes on the main branch, where in this case, I have changed four to five. I have changed two to one. Now I'm adding those together and now I'm also doing it a subtraction. So here, what happens is, if I expand my screen, it says that you merge right here, branch main of one. It has this red exclamation mark. And most of the time it wants me to open up a log. So if I go and I hit another branch, it's gonna say open git log. There I see that log. If I go and try to go through tests, it's gonna say show command output. And it says you need to resolve your current index first, okay? So it's not liking exactly what I'm trying to do with this, okay? So maybe I actually want to push these changes. So in this case, I'm going to just do a queue so I can get out of this terminal. And I see that I got some output here. I got some terminal. Where's my problems? Debug console. Great. Jupyter. That's going to give my output of my variables. Awesome. So in this case, I'm going to do a get status. And it says that I have both modified first code.ipymb. I can unmerge paths. You have unmerged paths, fix conflicts, and run git commit. Use git merge dash dash abort to abort merge. So say for instance, I actually didn't want to make this change. I'm going to go to git merge dash dash abort. Okay. And then when I see that, I'm actually not going to actually submit that, right? So now it took away the messages. There's no more issues here. I can always go back and say, hey, you know what? It's right. I need a four and two here. What I meant to do was just add an X minus one. And I was actually just playing around with my code. I can save that, do a command S, do a git add. And I can say adding subtraction, permit it, try to sync those changes. And there it actually went through. So when I actually go into GitHub, 
we can just minimize Visual Studio Code here. And I go into GitHub first. Okay. I see that I just updated first code.ipymb with no issues. If I go on the test branch, it says I'm four commits behind. I'm going to go ahead. It says that I'm able to merge. So nothing crazy there to create a pull request. And I'm going to say getting updates from main. I'm going to create that pull request. Since I'm the owner of this, I'm just going to go ahead and merge it and confirm merge. And now both of my branches are updated. Okay, so I can abort out of the merge. I can choose to change the file back to its original state. I can Google the issue. I can decide not to merge it to begin with. Merge conflicts are very, very complex, and you kind of have to just follow along with the prompts and or Google those issues. Okay, so thank you once again. For tuning in with Learning with Jelly, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.